Um, Gregory T. Angelo is my next guest, president of the New Tolerance Campaign, and he's offering a million dollars for somebody. Um, Gregory, good evening. Hello, thanks for having me tonight. Our pleasure. Oh, um, Gregory, you are offering... I mean, can we check out your, uh, your... First of all, you definitely got a million dollars, have you? Yes, those commitments have been secured. Uh, that's good. Having a slight problem with our... Um, we can hear uh, you. Though. We, can, we hear. can hear you, but at the moment we can't see you because something is going oh. wrong and I might have to go out oh, and shout back. at people. There we are. You're back nice. on screen. All right. Um, okay. you, you are offering a million dollars to any organisation that will go out to Gaza and have a pride parade in Palestine. In Gaza? Gaza or the West Bank. You know, I do want to clarify that. It could be any of the Palestinian territories. And the reason for this, the emergence of this campaign is the fact that for the last fall and in the spring, throughout college campuses and in the streets in the United States, and I also know, you know, I've seen videos from the UK, uh, during these pro-Hamas protests that are taking place, you frequently see yeah. gay pride or transgender flags or actual banners proclaiming queers for Palestine. Why? And as someone who has actually been to Israel and to the West Bank, who has seen with my own eyes the difference in not just gay rights, but human rights between yeah. people who live in Israel and those who live in those Palestinian territories, uh, you know, the, cos the co cognitive disconnect between the queers for Palestine and what they're actually fighting and marching for is something that has been frequently called out. What the happens to gay people? On social media is, well, why don't you just go over there yourself? What happens so to we, them in Gaza? What would happen to a gay person who goes out in Gaza, do you think? Would they get thrown you off a die. roof or lynched? You would, you would die. Well, yes, you would either be uh, summarily executed uh, through the, their, their legal system because homosexuality is illegal in Gaza, has been illegal since 1936 death and penalty, punishable yeah. by death, yeah. or you could be subject to honor killings. This is something, sadly, that we've seen far too often, not just only in the Palestinian territories, but in the greater Arab world, mm -hmm. where families are so ashamed to have gay family members that they will take their, their gay son up to the top of a mountain and the sun will not come down the mountain. Mm. Uh, so, why, you know... Yeah, why, listen, Gregory, answer me this. Why are so many of these people so thick and so stupid that they don't understand what they're saying? These organisations, Queers for Palestine... Or do they understand? Other, or do they understand? Are they just nasty individuals? What is their problem? They either have a very poor understanding of the actual legal landscape that is there in the Palestinian territories vis-a-vis -vis gay people, yep. or I like to think that it's probably just more emblematic of the greater disconnect that we see among the left in the United States and across the, the Western world, where all oppression is the same oppression. Yeah, gay but they don't really believe it. Because if you offered to buy them a plane ticket, say to the West Bank, because they wouldn't go to Gaza now, but say to the West Bank, say, I'll pay for your plane ticket, you go and do your pride, but they'd all say no, because they know really. Well, let, listen, know. for those of you just tuning in, um, Gregory here, Gregory T. Angelo, who's president of the New Tolerance... I'll do it again. New Tolerance the Campaign. The New Tolerance Campaign. I've not even had a drink. He's drunk. Um, the, you are offering a million dollars to anybody who's prepared to go there to a... A Palestinian. To, well, what we let's not blame the Palestinians. I feel bad about that. Yeah. These are Hamas and Hezbollah sure. who are actually the ones who well, are and some of the citizens. Uh, yeah, and yeah. people who have quite a lot of misguided them, but, yeah. religious views. Yeah. But there still are some good people. Though. But if somebody was to go and try and organise um, a gay pride march in those areas, um, you will give them a million a million dollars. Yes, I mean, you know, uh, we here, frequently here in the United States, supporters of Queers for Palestine or supporters of Hamas and who are marching in the streets against Israel, uh, mm -hmm. all too common refrain that they have is, oh, things are just as bad here in the United States for gay people as they are over yeah. in the Palestinian territories. It's just as bad in Texas or Mississippi or Alabama yeah. as it is for a gay person in Palestine. Yeah. Well, you know, we are putting our money where their mouths are. Why don't you go and do that? These are the same people this. that say Trump's the same as Hitler. It's just a ridiculous... Uh... The, problem, the, pro it's, it's... Yeah. the problem is that if you went over and said, well, I'll go and organise it, uh, and you can understand why, 
uh, there would be no people actually prepared to go on a march like that because of what would happen to them. Well, I can tell you that actually, I mean, it, it is true that there are gay people everywhere in the world, and there are certainly gay Palestinians. They yeah. are living their lives in fear. In 2015, a gay Palestinian rather boldly painted uh, rainbows on the uh, the barrier between the West Bank and Israel after the Supreme Court ruling that made marriage equality the law of the land in all 50 states. It was only hours before Palestinian citizens took whitewash and painted over that rainbow because they thought it was an insult to the Palestinian people and Palestinian culture. When so, they can declare you know, this, asylum in Israel, that's what a lot of gay people from Gaza escape to Israel and then <clears> declare <throat> and have a great life see, in Israel. I mean, taking this wider, yeah. Gregory, uh, re I don't like religion. I find all religions completely appalling and they're there for one reason and one reason only, control. No religion likes homosexuality and why somebody's gender preference should be a religious thing i have no idea i mean it, you know they're 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 in the christian religion now they're they're accepting it but they're accepting it really because they no, have I don't no think you can have gay marriage still in the church of england can't don't you think, I, don't, I don't know actually well there'll be none of them left what's know. going on um but well, the fact is that religion seems to be the the the, the starting point of this uh, anti-gayness? Uh, I, I guess I would, uh, I mean, respectfully push back on that, but, you know, generally, uh, more generally speaking, at the New Tolerance Campaign, we are pushing for a return to what originally represented tolerance, right? That is the fact that, look, you can be a person of faith who does not support uh, what they call the homosexual lifestyle, or maybe you don't support same-sex marriage, but as long as it's no encroachment upon you nor your freedoms, you should be able to let people live their lives as you want. Turn the other cheek. The great news is we do not have a theocracy either in the UK or in the United States. The same cannot be said uh, for many people who live uh, throughout the Arab world, where, the, where theocracy and the law are one and the same. Mm. Um, because we've moved forward, uh, because, you know, Christianity is 800 years older than Islam, and maybe a lot next... of men hold hands when I've been in some very um, stringent Islamic country. We'll go out like this, or arm in arm. They like do, I don't. Do what's normally. all that about? Yeah, that I don't I know. Like Customs that. are different uh -huh. wherever you go. Let's go out. Listen, and they, and they do that. Listen, um, uh, I'm never going to live this down, Gregory. Thank you very much Perfect. indeed for your time. Thank you. Uh, and if somebody is going to do it and we don't hear about it, please let us know, and uh, we'll talk about it again. Thank you very much, Gregory T. Angelo.